Welcome! In today's tutorial, I will show you how to procedurally create the flag of the United States of America in Shadron, exactly according to its specifications. So first of all, we need to find the specifications, which are available for example on Wikipedia. Here, the various dimensions and spacings are labeled with letters A through L. So first, let's copy that. Next, we want to use the right colors, which are also defined here, so let's also copy these values. So let's create the flag image. Now the input coordinate always ranges from 0 to 1 even though it's a rectangle. So we need to convert it to the units in the diagram by multiplying by the flag dimensions. Let's start with the stripes then, the easy part. When you think about it, the pattern is repeating with a period of two stripes or two times L in the Y dimension. So we can modulo the Y coordinate by 2L and if the result is greater than L, it lies in a white stripe and otherwise in a red stripe. So let's just use the step function and mix the two colors. Next, we will add the blue portion called the canton. Keep in mind that the y-axis starts at the bottom, so it is located at x smaller than d and y greater than a minus c. If we are within the canton, let's return blue for now, but the next step is to add the stars. So let's start with a single star centered at the origin with a parametric radius and create a preview image. There are several ways to create the star, but my favorite one, which also happens to be highly efficient, is to create a combination of five half planes. As you can see, if we take the five lines that make up the star and turn them into half planes that contain the center, the plane is nicely divided into areas with different amounts of half planes. And if you look closely, you may notice that the star is the portion where the total is four or more. So let's create a four cycle to count the half planes. The tips of the star can be computed the same way as points on a circle using sine and cosine of different angles around the center. So we will evaluate the five half planes and for this Shadron provides a function in the shapes library which includes anti-aliasing, but its implementation is very simple, you can have a look.
The last argument is the size of one pixel within our coordinate system. Here the half planes are overlaid once more. And since we are only interested in the transition from the number 3 to 4, we will simply subtract 3 and clamp. So that's our star. The next step is to arrange the stars into the right pattern. Now if your first idea is to run a cycle over 50 iterations, you are not thinking with shaders. Keep in mind that at each pixel there is at most one star, so there is no need to compute the others. We will take advantage of modular arithmetics again, but to make things significantly easier we will do the even and odd rows separately. So the pattern will be limited by size and start at an offset. First we need to bound the position to this area using the clamp function. Now we modulo by the period of the repeating pattern which is 2H horizontally and 2F vertically. Finally, we subtract the position of the center of the first star, GE, and use one half of the star's diameter K as the radius. We can again preview the star pattern by itself, which as you can see correctly forms the odd rows. So now let's add the pattern to the flag's canton. For the even rows, we simply add a second pattern with an offset and size smaller by one star. And that's all. The flag is now finished and mathematically accurate. To be sure, we can also use Shadron to compare the result with the reference image from Wikipedia. To do that, we create a simple comparison shader which will highlight any differences. A black output means that the two images are indeed the same. If we exaggerate the differences, we can see that there are actually very slight differences in the star's anti-aliasing, which is to be expected. And that concludes this tutorial. I hope you liked it and that you learned something new, and see you in the next video.